Hi Scorpio, this is going to be an X reading for June 2019. So this is going to be about the X that you're thinking the most of. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. So it's going to be for June 2019 as well. If you would like to win a free reading, information is going to be in the description box below. So definitely check that out if you are interested in winning a free reading. Very simple to enter. If you would like to book a paid private reading, information will also be in the description box below. And my bracelets, which are on Etsy, they will also be linked down below as well. They are intention bracelets. They start from just £3, free international shipping. They are handmade by me. There is um, a couple of bracelets that aren't handmade by me, but uh, the beaded ones are all handmade by me and free international shipping, super, super inexpensive as well because, you know, I have spent a lot of time on them and the materials and postage as well. So you're kind of getting a bargain, but... It's totally up to you. Thank you for all of you that have been purchasing them. I hope you see a really beautiful result with those bracelets. And Scorpio, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's get on to the Scorpio reading, right? So, uh, some of you have been asking why I put in Venus signs into my videos. Well, first of all, most of my readings are love readings. Venus is the planet ruled by love. And I think that for a lot of people, if you look at your Venus sign, it tells you a lot about love in regards to your personality and your characteristics and and things like that so I always put in my Venus my Venus the Venus um, into my videos um, Sun Moon Rising and Venus because I think it's 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 very telling for sure and funnily enough I'm mentioning this in a Scorpio video my <laughs> Venus is in Scorpio but anyways right X reading some indecisiveness indecisiveness they are indecisive Scorpio look at that indecisive a lot of that indecisiveness is coming through they're not sure they're definitely balancing and juggling a lot of things in their life right now so they could be balancing sort of their family life their career Lots of, you know, different things, essentially. Things like their hobbies as well, you know, whether that's... I'm just giving examples. Whether that's going to the gym, or they're trying to learn a new skill. You know, they have to go to social events, etc, etc. They're balancing a lot right now, and so they're very, very confused in the situation. They feel very indecisive. On one hand, okay, on one hand, so on one hand, they want love. They want to offer something, they want something really genuine. On the other hand, they're like, no. Okay, so that's that indecisive coming, indecisiveness coming through with the two of swords. They just are not able to make a clear decision, especially with, you know, this. They're juggling a lot of things, and also on one hand, they want it, but on, other, on the other hand, they don't want love. So it's, it's again, two sides. They do... And then they don't. Now the five Saint Tower are all about change. But again, it's on to free will at this point as to whether they will, you know, want to have something or not. But we'll see what the rest of the cards say because, you know, they, they do crave it deep down. I feel like their heart tells them that this is something that they should be open towards. Their mind closes them off. So again, it's that two-sided energy that I'm seeing. Again, it's very, very similar to Gemini energy. We're in Gemini season, so it totally makes sense that this is one of the ways that they're feeling because they're very much in tune with that and of course Geminis are known to be quite indecisive and I have some of that in me as well because I am a Gemini rising I totally know how that feels but you know it's sort of thinking of things in two ways two sides Gemini's twins you know so they're very much so fitting into that element of Gemini season essentially got the moon card ruled by Pisces Again, two sides, right? It's about cycles and phases. They want something one second, they don't want it the next second, they consider love one second, they don't consider it the next second. It's it's that back and forth, hot and cold, in and out. It's that two-sided thing that I am seeing. Light and dark. Do you guys feel me? Do you guys feel me? Scorpio, come through. Your energy, come through. <laughs> All right, so what I'm seeing is that this person's going to go through a transformation. This is also your energy, okay? So this does 
this does bring you into the mix essentially your ex is thinking is going to be thinking a lot about you they're going to want something with you thinking about you with that nine of wands so the death card here is for a specific reason first of all your energy is coming through in your ex reading which means that this person is also you know this transformation does refer to this person going through a transformation. Death is about transformation, it's about death and rebirth, it's about the starting of a new cycle. Your ex is going to go through a huge transformation, I feel, in June. So in the later part of June, I feel like just as we exit out of Gemini season, they're going to go through a huge transformation emotionally, and they're not going to be able to think of things in two sides anymore. That five has indicated a change and I do see that with their free will and the essential changes that they do with this transformation they are going to want to offer something they're going to be very mutual towards you've got another two here but this is about equal mutual love again it happens in divine timing right now the timing is not right Gemini season timing is not right after you get out of Gemini season after they get out of Gemini season after the entire world gets out of Gemini season <laughs> They're going to go through a transformation, they're going to be able to understand themselves much more and exactly what it is that they want and they're really going to connect to that Scorpio energy and you know this is you coming through in this reading, they're going to think about you, they're going to want to manifest something you know with you so thinking about you here as well. Alright, I hope that made sense so far, I hope you're all with me, I hope you're still here, you know? Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, there we see, there we see, there we see it, there we see, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so we've got the Ace of Pentacles, which does, it makes sense because after they go through this transformation, I am seeing that they will want to offer you something, they will be able to understand themselves a lot more, they're opening out a new cycle, they want love. They do. Deep down in their heart, they want it. But they've just been so indecisive before. They've been really confused. They've been juggling a lot of things. They're going to be ready. They are. They're going to go through a transformation. They're going to think about you. They're going to want to offer you that cup. They're also going to want to offer you commitment, something that's stable, secure for the long term. This is commitment. They are much more mature. They know what they want now. They are decisive. The King of Swords is very decisive. Knows what they want. So finally you know, communication in terms of truth and honesty and you're going to be able to understand exactly what they are thinking and wanting. Two of Swords here is indecisiveness, using those swords in a very defensive manner, not knowing. Five of Swords here is about conflict, it's about not knowing again, it's about confusion and not being able to use your swords in the right way, being very, very confused. So they're going to come out and snap out of that confusion at the end of Gemini season, I feel, for a lot of them. And I do feel like they will be ready to offer their cup to you. Because I feel like a lot of them will be tap tapped more into their emotional side, more into their heart, listening to their heart. This is what that transformation is going to allow them to do. And they're going to be coming towards you because your Scorpio energy is there. It is there. And it's a huge transformation. Boy, oh boy, you know, Scorpio is a very intense sign. And they're going to become so much stronger, especially with that King of Swords energy. Do you want to know what fell on the floor? Should I show you what fell on the floor? Okay, it's the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so again, it does show that this person is coming towards you slowly. They are working on themselves. Will work, in, will work within themselves. Um... Because, you know, first part, I feel, especially with Gemini season, they're still going to be a bit confused. The end part, especially when... Let me just get the next card out. Let me just cut the deck and take a card out. All right, Judgment. It's going to be your decision as to whether you want to be with this person or not. So, uh, that's the Judgment card. But what I'm trying to say is that... End of June, just as Gemini season is also ending... We go from spring to summer, especially where I live in the world, It's it goes from spring to summer. And I'm also seeing, you know, that is a part of the shifting in, in terms of cycles. You know, we go from one season to another, not just, you know, from Gemini season to another season, but also from spring to summer. I'm fully aware. <laughs> just want to let you know, I'm fully aware that it's not spring, summer everywhere, but I'm just trying to explain the concept to you. And so I am seeing that they, they are also going to have that shift. They're also going to go from one thing to another. You know, they're going to have that transformation. 
and they're going to feel much, much better within themselves. I'm just going to try and get comfortable in my chair. But, you know, I'm seeing that there is this commitment that is coming your way. They want to offer you something and it's once they become more stable, once they understand themselves much more, that's really when it's going to happen. So, Scorpio, this is your reading. <laughs> um, it's, it's great. It, it really is great. I know that some of you have been waiting a while, but I also do feel that they just haven't been ready. It hasn't been the right time. June is a very big month for unions, reunions, and relationships in general growing and coming together. It's such a big energy. It's, it's huge. And for a lot of you, there are going to be people coming back from your past, wanting something, wanting to be with you, essentially. And it's your choice as to whether you want them in your space and your energy. Again, it's completely your choice, but this is what I'm seeing. And... Yeah, so Scorpio, if you if this resonates with your situation, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much to those of you who have supported my channel, subscribed, and you know, it's it's really incredible to read all the messages. I can't reply to them all, but I try to read them all. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, link is in the description box below. You don't have to, it's just a personal one. So again, you know, you don't have to, but also, don't forget to check out the description box below for information on the free reading giveaway so that you can enter if you're interested and also if you're interested in paid private readings, information down below as well as the bracelets which are on Etsy. So, I hope you all have a lovely day, night, wherever you are. Take care everyone. Bye!